Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Barak and this is another episode of Savage Lands. Yes, we're back to our lovely settlement that is growing, growing every time we log in. And in today's episode, uh, I would like to make it bigger as well. Uh, so in the previous episode we have built a few crafting stations such as um, Forge and Blacksmith over here and the tanning uh, rack and finally we have got ourselves a spawn point. If we die, we will spawn, oh, spawn over here. Right, so as you can see, I've been taking apart, well, we, you cannot see, but now you can see, I've been taking apart a few fences and they are really a great source of, mm, great source of um, planks, because in today's episode, I would like to repair this house, a bit bigger house, uh, that we have over here so let me just apply all the material all the materials that oh look at that it looks so fancy now we can go in look at that it has a very own fireplace i wonder if it's gonna work when we finish this off because we need one more plank and few more bags of nails right so i also in between videos took apart the cart which was over here and look at the amount of resources that i got like shit ton of bag of nails and tin rivets and other stuff just look at that tin rivets one uh, tin ingot few planks holy shit that is really really a lot uh, i didn't expect that it's gonna be so cool and awesome uh, that you can get it so i'm looking forward to moving to our uh, to other um, island maybe we'll go there in today's episode we will see but eventually I would like to take apart like better houses that are over there and maybe we will get like better loot because well uh, tin ingots, uh, tin nails and rivets are relatively easy to make uh, so let's actually finish and try to finish the house look at that bada beam bada boom and we have our second well actually that is the third building uh, that is in here in our settlement lovely basket lovely Mm, lovely workspace sweet and bad actually we have two beds so we have we might have a, um, a companion in here or maybe we can rent it as a double room suite so does this work i don't think so it doesn't seem to work at all but i remember that once i made but it, I think it was serious too. I've made like a torch on, mounted on a wall and it actually went out. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna went out and we will need to, um, we will need to restore the fire. We'll see how it goes. Right, so we still have this survival task uh, to complete and actually we need to kill two deer, so uh, just before we head out, let's go to the blacksmith because I want to improve my weapons. I got some tin ingots uh, that was really cool uh, that I got it, but uh, I would like to make some uh, tool, uh, tin tools, for example, stone hammer because it will have um, like greater, um, greater and uh, durability as well as the damage. Uh, so we will make a tin hatchet in stick and tin hammer and we don't need stick for the tin hammer well fair enough so we need some leather strips coal i think i have some over here that shouldn't be a big of a deal and uh, we have some sinew over here do i have any sticks except for the savage stick i don't think so uh, but we can make it we can make it no easy uh, no problem easy peasy lemon squeezy right so let's craft a few sticks and let's see if we actually need those right weapon wise now i think we can make tin hatchet or do we because if you look at that oh that's a one tin hatchet and that's stone hammer so i'm not going to be building building damage I'm not going to be building tin hatchet because I have one tin hatchet, so there is really no need for me to be building a tin hatchet because it only does a bit more damage to the buildings, and the damage-wise, and a bit of and a bit more durable it is. But I really don't care about it. So let's make a tin hammer that will hopefully help us get materials much, 
much quicker we can make it 10 battle axe but it i think it's two-handed yeah so we're not gonna be doing that and a two-handed spear i don't like two-handed weapons to be honest but nevertheless i have found this big ass uh axe and look at that how sweet it goes with the buildings and cutting and destroying sweet very nice and we also have found this big ass war hammer well it's not war hammer it's just a battle hammer or, or, or whatever that's that was right uh, let me just check if we have uh, read this lore uh, urgent m m urgent missive to the current land owners of Rodan Farm, please be on the lookout for a band of suspicious poachers who have illegally made entry onto Snowmir. Their last known location was a small camp in the forest between your farm and the Tower of Worms. Worms, Worms? Worms, Worms? Whatever. Worms Guard to the northeast. These men are well armed and should be approached with caution before engaging be sure to equip yourself with any weapon or tool to fight with please be aware however that hatches are ill fit for combat right good to know no hatchets available well not, they are available but they are not av advisable right so we will be going towards that direction but first let me just get rid of ah oh, shit let me just get rid of a few stuff that we actually don't need i really don't like the fact that i cannot shift click that i need to move everything with my mouse this is really pain in the neck but nevertheless let's do it let's um, make some room because we will be going out for a trip All right and i really don't need that we'll be taking only um only the sword as well as a hammer which now should work as a charm right it's getting a bit dark but i think we might continue if not well then i do have at least i had somewhere yeah there it is a torch right no double click just move just do it like that and actually we should be eating before we head out uh, since we are getting a bit hungry right that's done so now we can move let's bring our torch up it's gonna be all nice and fantastic and probably we'll find a few more animals right speaking of animals here's the deer let's get his ass off this ground if only i will be fast enough but i am not so let's not chase that one i think we can sneak up on them from behind and then uh when we will be close we can get this ass mm, but i was told that actually killing Two deer task is a bit problematic. Eh, 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 come on, come on, stop moving, you piece of shit. Could you please just glitch on something? That would be nice. No? Okay. You are not co cooperating. That is not good at all. Right, so here's the second deer. I should have made myself a bow. That might have been a bit easier. Look at him go, he just knows that I'm here. Stupid ass deer. Right, so let's go and let's see. Oh, there is no dragon in the tower. I think we can find... We will find a camp somewhere over here. Let's get the torch out so we can see a bit better. Uh, because, well, yeah, the YouTube sometimes uh, always makes, a, mm, makes videos a bit darker. That's because of the codec. So I believe that's the hunter's location that the lore was talking about. I don't see any... Oh, there it is. There's a... There's some lore. We can apply some stuff. We don't have stones and we don't have uh, flint. But I believe we can find... What is this? Some mushrooms. Ooh, holy shit. Baboo mushrooms. I don't know what to do with them, but we will find out so sooner or later. I would like to set you on fire. No, it doesn't work. Well, maybe... Yeah, this uh, actually works. So let's get all the materials back from the deer. So one deer is dead. But I think we have already killed the second deer. Well, 
other tier. So this shouldn't really be a problem. Right, let me just get some flint. I think that's gonna be the flint rock. Yep, and here's another one. I think we need three. Well, the night time is uh, getting um, in about, so we should really get those stones and mm, flint and uh, set this uh, um, camp on fire. Well, not set the camp on fire, but the campfire. Set the campfire on fire, yeah. That's what I want to do. First, we need to get a few stones. I can see three, four. That's good. We need two more. And I think we have enough logs, so that's not going to be a problem. Five. And soon, yes, there it is. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And some whetstone as well that we will take with us just in case. Right. Uh, as I said, we could get a bit... Mm, cold during the night time but that really is not a big deal uh, since we can set on f uh, set trees on fire i wouldn't like to set this linto on fire since it is a protective bit and we can stay uh, here and hide right so let's cook the meat that we have senior cook that we're not going to be cooking senior we're going to be cooking deer meat oh look at that we have some raw boar meat over here as well and some fur curious curious or whatever that is called as well so we can destroy i believe we can destroy this thing jig to get more planks yeah look at it go this should provide us with some planks that we will take with us just because yeah one plank fantastic i think we have this curious this armor on us as well so yeah see you later bye bye i don't need you Right, so let's actually read the law that is what is all about with all those mm, all those hunters bandits whatever they what they were I completely forgot poachers report we successfully made landfall on Snowmere two nights ago the small port to the south of here was lightly guarded although an old couple who lives nearby was slightly overly inquisitive oh so they killed those poor grandma and grandpa you sons of fucking bitches probably just attention starved uh, living out here in the booties thankfully our effort have our efforts have been well worth it the nearby forest has provided enough wood uh, for us to construct a basic lean to fire and snares for game. I would like to get those snares. Well, we should build some. Rabbits Run Meadow lives up uh, to its name, so expect tons of meat and pelts on our return. Right, poachers. Let me just double check what actually do we need to make um, the snare because, well, it's not um, done over here. I think it's a journal. Right, because the snare is not a nice way to catch rabbits, at least, holy shit, they take 25 wood sticks, that's quite a bit to be honest, and 8 senior and 1 strong senior, so, oh, I don't know if that's, that's actually, um, that cool, I remember back in the day when the snares were introduced, uh, rabbits were caught, like, instantly, so that was really cool and awesome, <laughs> and I liked it, uh, because you just got, um, you could get like shit ton of uh, rabbits in no time actually. But still, let's get a few wooden logs while we're here. But actually, let's, I think we should head out, because why not? We should venture out and let's see, uh, and see what we can actually find. Uh, I'm not going over there because there are eggs and such, so let's go mm, over here to the right uh, right side of this uh, dragon's tower and let's see what we can find in here except of course for cold water and rabbits, well not that's not rabbit, that's a deer swimming in a cold ass water. Right, I think we can find some dragon or lava thing jig but first i would like to get some cotton because if the torch runs out i think we need to uh, make a new one yeah oh shit oh it's actually heavily protected so this is the place where you can as you can see warm yourself up a bit 
I think that's a lava. No, inferno slow, yeah. Just stay away, don't get too close. Oh, look at that. This is just like Bernie McCracky from Seven Days to Die. Oh, this looks like a burned, mm, burned skeleton. So, uh, inferno slow. I don't know what to do with the inferno slow. I think we ca you can get some materials out of, out of that. But if you get too close, you, yeah, you will use, you will lose your life. So be aware and not get too close. Uh, I don't know approximate directions, but I think there's the north and there's the south. Mm, so, given that, if that's a north. The Inferno Stone is on the east of the Tower Dragon's Tower that you will see from miles on the map of Snow, not map, the place of Snow, the island of Snowmere, of course, right? So let's see what he had. Look at that and tin or and let's leave the rest and see you later. Why are you running around in circles? I have absolutely no idea. Stone, well, I can take it. The bones are really useless for me right now. Uh, I think they, they are used to make patching kit or something like that. Holy shit, I lost so much health. Um, I think they are used um, to make patching kits will eventually will be needed to uh, repair more advanced armors, I believe, as far as I remember. Right, Tino and cloth of shreds and uh, rotting meat I will take with us because why not? Right, so let's go. Let's go over here and check it out. So, I remember back in the day that there was a portal leading to the second island, but now I think you can just freely go to the second island. And I remember that you were uh, supposed to kill, like, Lord Cruel that ruled this um, god for sick. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, that gave me a fright. God damn it. The torch went out. <laughs> but I don't think we can repair it. Torch. Can we repair torch? No. Right, for Curious, as you can see, patching kit. And the patching kit is actually made. Needle. So, first of all, you need to make the needle and then I believe patching kit. Let's check it out actually because it, 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 it drives me nuts at this point. Patching kit. Where is it? Patching kit. Oh, you need needle and a strong sinew. And a sinew. Yeah, so that's what you use that one for. Is that on fire? How come the broken torch now is lit and once I have it, it's it doesn't? Yeah. Anyway, let's craft new one, shall we? Cloth shreds. Probably I don't have. Probably I don't have a stick, don't I? Okay, so let's make a stick. And now dim torch. Was it dim? I don't. I don't remember. Anyways. Well, it works, so no biggie. So you can see a bit better. So let's go over here um, to this remains of one's great land. And as you can see, there is a actually a campfire that we can use and should use. Shitloads of skeletons over here. These are not burned. Not burned because they are not close to the Inferno Stone. But still, we can find some lore over here. So let's give it a go and let's read it a bit. Oh, look at that. Worn leather. Worn leather. I have fur. So which one is actually better? Probably mine. Ba babo. Mushrooms. Sweet. Right. Where is that? Uh, durability 160 and 9 damage reduction. And does this one actually does um, 15. Right. Read. Desperate measures, the Lord Commander Krull. Yeah, the, back in the day you need to, you were supposed to kill Lord Commander Krull to get his head or whatever. Uh, and that was a amulet that opens the portal to the second island. But nowadays I think you can just go freely to that. And we will be going there probably in the next episode. I don't know why, because it's a savage place. Lord Commander Krull keeps us posted towards the portal even after... It's been safely sealed. See the portal. I can't help but think about the people of we Wild trapped on the other side. The elders insist that it's for the best. Our supplies are low after the loss of the last merchant, sh merchant ship. 
we would never be able to feed so many extra mouths mouth still have uh, have we become so heartless as to turn a blind blind eye to the suffering of our fellow settlers right probably you are heartless souls that don't want to cooperate with others can i set you on fire no can i smack you yeah i can smack you with with my awesome hammer but nevertheless pretty much that's it okay okay so i think that's gonna be it today's episode we've made it to the dragon's tower and actually dragon came here to say hello look at him go hopefully he won't see us see us and w won't eat my ass off right so that's it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to leave a like comment about the gameplay and hopefully we'll see each other in the next episode so till then take it easy have fun and happy gaming bye bye